We're shaking, folks. Back with another reaction. Back with some more Gary Newman and his two-way army. And we're going back to Replicas, 1979. And the next tune is It Must Have Been Years. It's the kind of phrase you use when you're not certain. Um, you There's an indication that the person, the narrator, has a sense of a general designation or um, the general distance of time. Uh, but ultimately, there's a lack of certainty and the the lack of clarity could relate to any number of reasons that prevented them from knowing the actual temporal distance but um yeah ultimately given the overall themes of the album it makes me wonder if it could be like you know a transition of someone from human to android or um you know mechanical clone essentially it could be um the difference between transitioning from a human-based world to um, a, again, like android-run uh, world. Uh, either way, I wonder how it will relate. I feel like there's been so much um, connected, and indeed, shout out to people for helping me understand the, the themes on this album, but yeah, that it feels more or less like a full concept album, so I wouldn't be surprised to find um, futuristic references to humans that are biomechanical or even entirely um, robotic. So let's find out what it actually is. This is a two-way army. The track is It Must Have Been Years and it's from the 1979 album Replicas. <laughs> Winding his way melodically to that point. It must have been years. It must have been years.
through some funny vocal moments or lyrical moments. I knew it. I knew it wasn't fully coming back. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I heard, heard a couple words, not even like full lines. And in fact, you know, that's part of it. Like, I love the way he sings. I've actually come to like really enjoy it as perhaps initially like odd as it sounded. Um, although, you know, I did know cars going back. Um, so it wasn't like I'd never heard it before, but I definitely, you know, have gotten to hear it much more extensively and, you know, maybe some slightly different sonic settings. Um, and indeed, I would say this tune much more like in the straightaway post-punk vein um, than, you know, that signature like synth pop meets post-punk that the two-way army stuff, you know, I've come to hear it as. Um, so yeah, ultimately, um, it's interesting, like when the, uh, the track started, I was wondering um, not only like if we would hear more electronic elements, but also the degree to which he is on guitar because like um i know two-way army like it's a band like it, you know it's not just him but i wonder like is he only singing is he playing guitar in some of these tunes because the guitar work in this track i thought was fantastic um but yeah like the the progression of the track i enjoyed but um either way like the his singing, I enjoy the sonic quality of it, but sometimes I feel like I don't get some of the lines because he's sort of like, he's monotoning them, if you will. Like, it just, I don't know, like my brain doesn't pick them up as clearly because he's like, he's just in that sort of like robotic groove, I guess. Again, like it really feels like the full sort of concept is going on, whether it's, you know, delivery, like, you know, songwriting, or at least what I can catch. Um, and some of the like mechanical or electronic sounds that we hear, although here not quite as much. Um, but yeah, uh, I am curious, like does he play guitar on all the tunes or um, are there other guitarists in the group? Uh, would be curious to know. Either way, I'll stop babbling. Do let me know what you think of this. I noticed there are bonus tunes in the folder. Shout out to Han Solo once again. Um, so yeah, there's at least some tracks that are not shown on the Discogs master release. And on the Discogs master release, I think it suggests there's just one more after this. Is that right? So I think we're like right near the end of the proper album. I do have it open. Hold on one second. Uh, no, I'm wrong. There's two more. When the Machines Rock and I Nearly Married a Human. Uh, which I, I'm already like intrigued and amused by that last title. Uh, but let me see what we got. Um, so we got only a down stat, which doesn't seem to be on the proper version of the album. Um, is it, uh, We Are So People, which I all, or sorry, Fragile, We Are So People. Uh, we Are So Fragile, I don't see that on the track listing. Um, we Have a Technical, I don't see that in the track listing either. Um, do we have any more? have any more? I think that might be. Oh no, I Nearly Married a Human 2. So there's like a different version of that one. So yeah, we got like a few, um, a few tracks to go through once we go through the, oh, and The Crazies. I don't see that one in there too. So yeah, we got several tracks to go through. Once again, big shout out to Han Solo. Um, looking forward to the rest of the album and it seems like even the B-sides were relevant to the themes they were pursuing, which, you know, again, a bit, um, you know, like, cyberpunk, you know, future, dystopian, a bit seedy, um, you know, like, high technology, but decayed morals and, like, um, you know, crass satisfaction of primary basal urges. Uh, either way, like, it's been a really interesting journey. I do think, as people said when I began this deep dive, that he seems to be underappreciated, even knowing, like, how big, on some level, a tune like Cars was, because, <clears throat> you know, in later decades, I'd hear it in commercials and things, like, oh, like, I remember that tune, so, um, yeah, it still seems like he's notably underappreciated, and in fact, I remember it on Discogs, I don't think it's on the Newman page, but I forget where it was, um, but there was some page where people like were commenting about, you know, electronic music pioneers and someone mentioned Newman and someone else like slammed it. They were like, Newman, no way. Like, what are you talking about? He's not like a synth pioneer. And like now knowing what I know and giving, you know, people's, um, or hearing people's comments about, 
the way his music hit as like the first music on the radio that was really exploring like a you know keyboard heavier sound um yeah ultimately it is weird to think about how little he does get talked about in some like music circles that um i follow or even again like disparaged so uh very bizarre but looking forward to the remainder of the tracks let me know what you think of this i'll see you next time peace